Hey guys, it's me, Francis, and I am here to celebrate because Warner Brothers has now reached a new low for gaming, the most gloriously horrendous release of a video game of all time. Congratulations, Warner Brothers. Yeah, you did it. In fact, this game is so bad, it created a moment in history that has never existed before. The game got pulled from Steam because so many people were refunding it, and Steam apparently keeps their cut of every sale, whether it's refunded or not, that they were losing their ass! <laughs> and I know a lot of you right now are like, I've got an old console and it runs just fine. And I guess you're right if you could consider 30 frames per second running. But, but, but meanwhile, the PC port is so bad that even if you have a $2,000 rig, you can barely get it to limp along at 30 frames per second after you turn off a bunch of shit. Not to mention, not to mention that there are just graphical features that they decided not to code all together in order to save money and time. And you gotta ask yourself the question, how could this possibly happen? Well, Warner Brothers, the answer is pretty simple. When you give a company of 12 people six weeks to make their very first PC port ever, they're probably going to fuck it up. And when we're talking about a $60 video game with a $40 season pass, okay? You guys are going to have so much money, you're going to make Bruce Wayne look broke, and you are, you're afraid to spend more than like $5,000 to get it ported to PC. What the fuck were you thinking? But you know what? I, I know what you were thinking. You were thinking those fat, disgusting, contemptuous meat bags will buy the game anyway because it says Batman on the front and they're dumb money bag pieces of shit. And I guess you were right because a lot of people still pre-ordered it. But praise Lord Gaiman for he has given power to the consumer once more. Because almost every one of us that bought your shitty, broken, nightmare of a game left a negative review and refunded it, costing you millions. Suck it, nerds! <laughs> All right, here's the part of the video where I normally tell you not to pre-order the next game, Mad Max on PC, because they might screw it up the same way they did this one. But you want to know something? Now that we can refund games, it costs you more for us to pre-order it and refund it than it does for us to never buy it. So pre-order on. Hey, look, look, I have a heart, all right? It's pretty deep in there, and it's covered in hamburger grease, but it's in here, all right? And I understand, this is just one big fuck-up. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for pulling off the shore until you could get it fixed. And fix it as soon as humanly possible, because the version of the game you shipped ain't worth shit. But in the more likely case that this is one exact decision of neglect or stupidity, let them know consumers have the power, and we will not stand for this shit anymore.